Hey, welcome back to the big board. All right, we're looking at the second scenario of uh, a brief board of wars from Brian Train. Uh, I posted a video earlier on the football wars. You can check that out. Uh, and uh, this uh, this particular scenario is a very very different playing scenario altogether. Uh, it's got a um, some more subtle, I guess, subtle nuance to it, perhaps in terms of decision cycles that you're going to need to make here. And uh, it's, it's, and I wanted to make this very, hopefully, brief <laughs> video to highlight some of that. So there's this concept or idea around uh, invasion landings, and you can do multiple landings, which occurred during this uh, very small war. And you use a special action card to execute one of those. And it allows you to bring two units from this uh, transit box over here. Uh, one per turn, or is, it, or is it two units? Is it one unit? So let me just check that before we go any further. Yeah, that's right. It is uh, It is two units, uh, so we're, we're good here. So... <clears throat> The, this originally was over on the left-hand side of the map over here. I, I popped it down here, brought in uh, two units plus the airborne to sort of secure this entire area. And uh, these irregular, irregular forces don't really have locking, not Zox, but or zones of control, but uh, locking areas, right? So I could, I move this guy out of here with the view that he will go and hit one of these two and recapture two VPs for the Cypriots, right? So, and then the next activation in the fourth turn, we took the beachhead marker from here and said, hey, well, let's place it down here. And we paid a action card. There's only six action cards. Uh, it's the fourth turn. The Turkish are down to their last action card. They have one left now. I put this down here, put two units here, and then the next activation they had, they moved two guys into this 3VP hex, right? Very cool. Uh, and uh, they're looking to bring six dice against three dice, uh, one for the urban area and two for this guy. Uh, plus, they could obviously bring some air in as well here. But uh, so looking to try and capture this uh, area to uh, secure victory, uh, potentially, in the seventh turn. Now, uh, this little guy was here. And what we did in the Cypriot turn was land uh, reinforcement from the rear area, which he was originally over here in the rear area. And we land him here. I'm using a three move card, it means I can move three units, <clears throat> land him here, move this guy here. Now what that's gonna do in the following turn is this will be removed and that's gonna negatively impact supply for the Turks. Uh, it means uh, all of these units over here are gonna be out of supply because they don't have a clear route to this beachhead. So what, uh, what the, uh, what the forces are going to have to do is either uh, place a new beachhead or clear a path with just what will be uh, you know three turns left in the in the game. So there's some nice little subtleties going on here that is perhaps more um, more war game reminiscent than the the I feel like the soccer wars or football wars just uh, wasn't gelling with me as much. Now there still is there still is the uh, the uh, the balance that's generated by a fifty two or fifty four card however many it is deck of cards where you know if I'm going to get you know gray for the Turks and white for the Cypriots at some point that's going to unbalance itself. Uh, this game it's been fairly even. It's been four two in favor of the Cypriots for uh, the first. Three first two turns, and then the last two turns have been uh, three each, and uh, that's made it a much more even game. Although the uh, Turks have used a lot of their their uh, special action cards. In fact, I think the uh, I think the Cypriots have only used one. Uh, so um, anyway, so it's it's uh, it's it's coming along a lot uh, a, a, a lot more um, I 
guess I would say, interestingly, uh, there is, uh, as you can see, just from the from the force pool, there's a weight of pretty good units for the Turks. It's a matter of, of them being able to take advantage of them. Plus, they have the added benefit of the air force. Uh, now, I'm not using the optional air rules because it's uh, uh, optional air rules for the for the uh, Greeks getting involved in this. It, didn't really seem to uh, make a lot of sense to me that they should be involved here. So just based on it was an optional rule number one and didn't happen number two. So uh, we'll be I'll be interested to see how uh, how it plays out. It feels like the Turks should run away with this subject to the bucket of dice principle of uh, you know rolling six dice versus three dice here. I can put two air in there as well. That'll give me two more dice. So I can do eight versus three. That's got to give me better odds of getting uh, fives and sixes to either disrupt or uh, or force this guy out of the hex and secure the, uh, not the hex, the area, secure the um, uh, the VPs there. So, but it's a high bar. There's a high bar for the Turks. Uh, they can't, they don't just win easily. So there's a, 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 grade, a graded uh, VP ranking. You've got to get, uh, at least 16 for it to be uh, a victory, 16 VPs. They're nowhere near close to that yet. So we'll see how it all turns out. All right, talk to you, talk to you soon. Ciao.